Hey everyone, this is Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook ad schedule. So having your ads turning it on at a certain time and then having your ads turning off at another time, whatever time that you set automatically without having to manually do it. So there's actually two main ways of doing it. I'm going to show you both ways and then I'm also going to be sharing what my preferred way of doing it is. And really honestly gone are the days of manually uh, having to turn off a campaign, right? Setting up an alarm on your phone so that let's say at 7 p.m. you turn off your campaigns. Um, you don't need to do that. You can actually use two different methods to do that automatically. So uh, that's going to save you a lot of time, but not just that, save you a potential human mistakes right we we we're humans we all forget things so having like a machine and an automation that takes care of that process for you is very valuable and that's exactly what i'm going to be showing you guys in this video so i first just quickly want to talk about why you would want to set a schedule now if you're doing some research on how to create a schedule you probably already have your reasons but let me share you the reasons why i set up a schedule for a lot of companies and it's usually actually for service-based companies so for e-com companies I usually won't set a schedule. I'll sometimes just maybe set an end date uh, in the ad set if like a, a specific promotion is gonna be ending, let's say, uh, you know, the day after Black Friday. But for service-based companies, I'll often set up a schedule when the company wants leads, but they only have a sales, like their sales team only works from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And although we can still generate leads sometimes like after 7 p.m., so let's say at eight or nine, but then the lead, those leads will only get called the next day. And then just ba based on looking at data, we figured out that, well, it's actually better to generate leads between seven and seven, uh, because again, after those hours, they don't receive the call and now the lead gets cold. And then if you've worked in sales, right, we all know that the golden time to call a lead is actually under 10 minutes. So you wanna definitely call that lead within 10 minutes of you generate that lead, let's say on a Facebook form or on your website. So that's why a lot of companies in the service space will actually set up a schedule so that they are only generating leads when they know their sales team is working. And sometimes that's also on weekends, right? So they won't be running ads sometimes on Sundays because they know that they don't have any reps working on Sundays or sometimes they'll be running, but at a much uh, lower budget. So this is the primary reason I would say that why someone would wanna set a schedule is so that you can have ads running almost at the same time that your sales team is in. Sometimes you might wanna start an hour earlier or maybe run your ads an hour later, but you're trying to schedule all your spend and uh, basically schedule your ads at the same time that your sales team is working. Okay, so that is it pretty much for the main reasons. You might have other reasons why you wanna set a schedule. If you do, then please let me know in the comment section, but usually that is the, the primary reason that I see. So now let's actually go about setting up that schedule. All right, so I am now in ads manager, and as I mentioned, there's two main ways of setting this. So I'm actually gonna start with my preferred way of doing it, just in case you only watch half the video, at least you'll have the good way. But the right way to do it, or my you know my the main way that I usually go about setting up the schedule is actually going here and then going and navigating to automated rules okay and in the rules section we'll actually create two rules so we'll create one rule that turns on the campaigns um, at whatever time that we want and then we'll create another rule that turns off the campaigns at again whatever time that we want um, but then just quickly in case you're wondering oh well that's not like that's not how I thought you would have done this. Um, why didn't you just use lifetime budget? So that is the other method. I'm still gonna show you how to do that. And it's completely up to you in terms of which method you wanna use. At the end of the day, they'll both achieve the same thing. It's just from what I've seen is when I use lifetime budget, which when you select lifetime, it actually allows you to create a schedule right in the ad set. So you actually don't need rules. So it's actually, it's a cleaner process and I prefer it. But for whatever reason, when I do that, my CPL increases. And if you've done this and if you tried that in the past, you've probably noticed the same thing. Um, and don't get me wrong with uh, an automation like what we're creating here, like the CPL can definitely still increase if you're generating like the majority of your leads, let's say past 11 p.m. But for whatever reason, I've seen worse results with the lifetime budget compared to just having a rule and just using a regular like daily budget. Um, so for that reason, I'm just, a, you know, a big fan of the rule, uh, but it's completely up to you. But that again, if I were to set this up again tomorrow, I would use a, a rule versus the, the lifetime budget. So pretty simple. We're going to create a rule and then I'll just like name this turn on. And then 
I usually apply it to all campaigns. It's up to you if you wanna apply it to uh, just the ad sets, uh, but I'll apply it to all campaigns. And then it's gonna be turn on campaigns. And then this is where it's important. So we're gonna turn it on when the span is greater than $1. So basically what this means is, hey, if this campaign has spent more than a dollar, then that's our condition. But then what we'll do is we'll look at the time frame of yesterday, all right? So if yesterday the campaign spent more than a dollar, then go ahead and, and, and turn on the campaign, right? Because this would run at whatever time that we want. So I will click on custom here and let's say uh, this, like it's every day, right? So you're running uh, ads seven days a week and you want to start your ads, let's say at 7 a.m. And just make sure here you're looking at the right uh, timestamp. Like sometimes, uh, as you can see right now, it's set for to EST. But if you're EST, but then your time zone set to PST, then you might want to either just consider that in. So just know that that's going to be, you know, a three hour difference um, or just go ahead and change it in your settings. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And again, we would select seven. So and let me just quickly select 7 a.m. everywhere. All right, and that's it. So I've selected 7 a.m. everywhere. So basically, again, the rule is it's gonna turn on the campaign when the spend is more than a dollar. So that means our campaign has spent more than a dollar. And then the time range that we're looking at is yesterday, okay? So I'm gonna create that. But then th what this means is it actually means two things. So number one is if ever one campaign wasn't performing well, right? And then yesterday you spent money, but you're like, this campaign, honestly, no good, I wanna pause it. Well, if you just pause the campaign, then tomorrow, because it's spent more than a dollar, then it's gonna turn on, right? So what you wanna do instead is pause the campaign, but then pause the ad set. If it's one ad set in that campaign, then pause that ad set. If it's two, then just pause these two ad sets so that even tomorrow when the rule come like when you know when the rule starts running at 7 a.m even if the spend is more than a dollar it's going to turn on the campaign but then your ad sets or all your ad sets inside that campaign are going to be turned off so it's actually it like it's not going to turn on using the rule right so um this is just a little workaround uh but that's what i recommend that you do so just pause that ad set just so that when the rule get, that does get triggered it, again it doesn't trigger um well it doesn't spend money on that campaign that you want it to turn off okay so I'm gonna create that. So that is to turn on, and then we're just gonna create another one, and that's to turn off. So um, all active campaigns, so same thing here, turn off campaign. Um, and then what I usually do is, because that's gonna run, let's say at 7 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm change the uh, time frame to today, and it's gonna be the same thing here. So when the spent is greater than $1, and we're looking at the time range today, then that means like this campaign was running, right? So we wanna turn off the campaign. And in case like going back to what I just said about uh, if you know you wanna pause the campaign, pause the ad sets. So what that's gonna do is if you pause the ad set and then our turn on campaigns, turn on the campaign, right? Well, because there's not gonna be any spend here, it's not gonna turn it off. Meaning like it's not gonna be just like an endless loop where your campaigns that have once had spend is gonna turn on, off, on, off. like. It might actually turn on like one day, but then the following day, like it's not gonna turn on and off because the spend is gonna be zero because those ad sets are paused. Uh, hopefully this makes sense and I'm not confusing you, but just know that this actually works, this method of creating rules. That's how I set all my schedule. So same thing here, always select custom, and then I'm gonna select all the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, set it to let's say 7 p.m. Right, and I'm just gonna go through the whole list and select 7 p.m. All right, uh, 7 p.m., perfect. And then I can just create the rule. All right, so I know that a lot of you guys will want to probably just run ads during the, the week and then turn it off on weekends because maybe, again, your sales reps are not working on weekends. So the way you can achieve that with the rule method, uh, with the automation method, is, uh, well, first of all, you wanna open up the turn on. And <laughs> obviously, this is gonna turn on your ads on Saturday. Uh, so you wanna remove that, and then it's gonna turn uh, on your ads again on Sunday, so you wanna remove that. Now, this rule here, again, it's looking at yesterday's spend. So if you're not spending anything uh, yesterday, then this automation here is not gonna work, right? But we don't wanna change that timestamp here because it's gonna work for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we can actually remove Monday here because it's, it's, it's not gonna work. Um, and then I can actually save this rule here. 
And then, um, I mean, we don't want to turn them off on Sunday um, or Saturday, right? Because, I mean, we're not going to be like, no need to have having an automation running for no reasons. Like we're not going to be running ads on those days, right? Basically the way it's going to work is if the other automation doesn't turn them on, we don't need to turn them off. So leaving those off is fine because the this automation will actually turn off our ads at 7 p.m. on Friday. And then again, if we don't have anything turn them on Saturday, then we don't need to turn them off. So that's it for the save rule. But now the issue is on Monday, nothing is going to be turning off your ads. So what you want to do is you can just say turn on and we'll say uh, Monday. And then it's going to be the same thing. So all active campaigns and we actually want to turn them on. And we're going to say when the spend is greater than $1. And instead of saying yesterday, uh, what we're going to do is last three days. So uh, this would only run on Monday. So yesterday would be Sunday. Then two days ago would be Saturday. And then three days ago would be Friday, right? So then we'll know that if they spent money on, if that campaign has spent money on Friday, then go go ahead and like, you know, trigger this automation and turn on all the campaigns that uh, meet those criteria. And then we wanna just fire this on Monday and then you still, let's say it's your, you want your campaigns to run at 7 a.m., just select 7 a.m. Now, just a few things to note here, 7 a.m., usually it's pretty on the ball, uh, but sometimes it will run, I would say the max I've seen is like 7.30. Um, so just consider that. So it's possible that your uh, rule fires at 705 or 7 of 10. So it might not just, it might actually not be like seven on the ball. Um, so that's the first thing to consider. But then the other thing to consider is like, let's say your daily budget is set to, let's keep it simple, $1,000 a day. Well, that's your daily budget. And Facebook thinks that you're gonna be running your ad the whole day. Now, if you're running on a schedule of seven to seven, then you're obviously not gonna be running the whole day, but Facebook doesn't know that. So what's gonna happen is you're probably maybe only gonna spend, I don't know, like half your budget. So let's say you only spend $500 a day, but you do have budget goals because you have lead goals. You just have to, you need to factor that in um, and you might actually wanna increase your budget. So just first of all, run a day, see, see what you end up in terms of spend and in terms of leads. Um, and if you find that the volume is a little bit too low, then that's completely normal. Just go ahead and um, increase the spend. And uh, you, you know, you're trying to match it to maybe what it was before you uh, implemented this automation. So I would say that's probably one of the biggest drawback with this method is that you're like, you basically Facebook doesn't know that you're gonna turn off your campaigns uh, at let's say at 7 p.m. So when you're setting in a budget again of $1,000 a day, it, it just thinks that it's gonna have the whole day to spend it. So it doesn't spend it between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., okay? Um, so just something definitely to consider because you will need to uh, increase the spend in all your campaigns or ad sets to uh, account for that. But that's pretty much it for method number one. Now let's cover method number two. All right, so method number two. So that's actually using the lifetime budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new campaign for you guys. I'm gonna select the leads and then we're gonna select manual leads campaign. Perfect, so obviously, you, you know, you'd wanna set up your campaign name. If you're a special like category, you're gonna wanna select that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it here. So I'm gonna hit next. Now on the ad set level, let's just pretend we're sending it to a website. And uh, here, you see where it says daily budget. So that's where it's gonna happen. So. If you're using the automation rule, right, the f first method, you're gonna be keeping this as a daily budget. And then you, let's say, I, before I gave the example of a thousand dollars a day, you set your budget right here. And then again, just remember that uh, you're probably not gonna spend that whole thousand. So if you actually do need to hit a specific spend or volume, then you might wanna increase this, I don't know, 1300, just for the first day, see what it goes. And most likely you might actually need to increase it a little bit more, right? Cause it's not gonna spend the whole sum. So now to set a schedule, it's pretty simple. You're gonna change it to lifetime budget. Now with lifetime budget, you wanna set a start date and an end date, okay? So you won't spend more than 350 during the lifetime, right? But you have to set the lifetime here. And you, by the way, guys, you can always like increase the lifetime. So let's say I set the lifetime as like it ends tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I can go here and increase it by one day and by one day and by one day, right? Usually if you know this is a test and you're just testing things out, um, maybe a good uh, end date would be from like seven days from now. So let's say uh, today we're December 12th, then I can just click here and let's go back to December and I don't know, let's just set it to 19th, okay? 
um, and this would actually uh, launch at 1253. Um, I'm just gonna set it to one and let's say it takes me, I don't know, uh, an hour or two to make this campaign. Uh, you actually can't launch with a start date that's in the past. It needs to be in the future. So now if we keep scrolling down here, you're gonna be able to see the option that says run ads on the schedule. So you select this and this is what I mean by this option, this way of doing it is a lot cleaner. Um, it's <laughs> simple, but again, I don't use it because I've seen higher CPLs in my ad accounts when I use this method. So it's up to you, you can try it. Uh, but again, I prefer doing a little bit more work and maybe going with a setup that's a little bit less clean um, just so that I can get better results, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> we're running Facebook ads to get better results. But try it, maybe you'll see a different results that I've had, but I've tried this a few times and I just always prefer using the automation. So we're gonna use the same example here. So let's say we start at 7 a.m. So I'm gonna select the 7 a.m. And again, we don't run ads on weekend. So I'm just literally clicking on my mouse here and I'm gonna go all the way to, let's say, uh, I believe this is 7 p.m., right? So from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's honestly with this method, it's that simple. So you just have to click select it and then I would just go ahead and continue building my ad set, all my ads, and then I would be able to hit launch. And again, that simple. Just remember that this budget here is the budget that's gonna get spent in let's say that seven day uh, time frame here. So 350, seven days, that's definitely low. Um, let's say my budget was $1,000 a day, probably here I would set it to like $7,000, right? So you can do, you know, 7,000 divided by seven, which should come down to about $1,000 a day, right? Sometimes Facebook will spend a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more, uh, but again, it's gonna come down to about $1,000 a day. So that's pretty much it for the schedule. Now you know what are the two main ways to set a schedule. So again, there's the first one, that's what I recommend. It's by using automations. Um, and then there's a second way by just changing your budget to a lifetime budget. Well, now it will allow you to actually set a schedule right in the ad set level. So it's up to you. If you do try the uh, lifetime budget and also the rule and you actually notice no difference, please let me know in the comment section because um, I've had my personal experience with uh, these two different methods, but I'd love to know yours and um, you know, that's how we learn. But if you've learned something in this video, please uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And what that does is it actually helps this video rank higher in the algorithm. That's just how the YouTube algorithm works. Uh, but thanks all for watching. Have a good one and uh, we'll talk next week. Bye now.